Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're facing connection issue with Intel Wireless AC7260 on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, first of all, shut down your computer. Now, after you shut down your computer, turn off Wi-Fi router. So turn it off and then wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router and then restart your computer and after the system restart try to connect to your wi-fi and then check now the next step is to make sure wi-fi is on in system bios so go to your system bios and then make sure that your wi-fi adapter or wi-fi is on in system bios now for this for many computers when you start the computer immediately keep on tapping f2 which will take you to the bios screen for different brands the BIOS key may be different. So go to system BIOS and check if Wi-Fi is on or not. Now the next step is to run network troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security, and then you will find the troubleshoot option. If you have Windows 11, click on system, and then you will see troubleshoot. Click on troubleshoot, and then click on other troubleshooters or additional troubleshooters, and find the network adapter or troubleshoot network so in windows 10 simply click on network troubleshooter and then you will see the option which says run the troubleshooter in windows 11 click on run over here and once the troubleshoot is complete restart your computer and then check now the next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box make a, make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command one by one paste it hit the enter key all the commands are provided in the video description so copy it paste it hit the enter key hit the enter key now run the next command Now run the last command and then hit the enter key. Now after this, restart your computer. So make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart, try to connect to your Wi-Fi. Now the next step is to disable and enable the adapter. So for this, make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now expand network adapter. Now, once you expand network adapter, you'll find your Intel AC7260 adapter. So in my case, it's not there, but in your case, you will find this Intel AC7260 adapter. Make a right click, then click on disable device. Click on yes. And then enable it once again. So again, make a right click and then click on enable device. Now, once done, you can connect to your Wi-Fi. Now the next step is to start WLAN auto config service. For this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find WLAN. So here you can see WLAN auto config. Make a double click and then make sure startup type is set to automatic. Then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected over here, click on restart the service. Now, once done, now connect to your Wi Fi once again. Now, the next step is to perform network reset. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now, go to network and internet. And in Windows 10, simply scroll down at the bottom, you will see a reset option. In Windows 11, click on Network and Internet, then go to Advanced Network Settings. Now, click on Network Reset over here. And here you can see the option which says Reset Now. Now, before you perform Reset, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password. Because once you reset, click on Yes. Now, once you reset, your computer will restart. And then when you Try to connect to your Wi-Fi. It will be asking for your Wi-Fi password. 
If you have the Wi-Fi password, then perform net network reset. Now the next step is to reinstall the driver for Intel AC7260 adapter. Now for this, make a right click on the start menu, then click on device manager. Now expand network adapter. And over here you will find Intel AC7260 adapter. Make a right click and then click on uninstall device. In my case, it's Realtek. In your case, it will be Intel AC7260. Make a right click, then click on uninstall device, then click on uninstall once again. Now, after the uninstall, restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer. And after the system restart, try to connect. Now, during the system restart, it will install the default driver for this adapter and then try to connect. Again, this time it will be asking to asking you to enter the Wi-Fi password. So enter the Wi-Fi password and then connect. Now the next step is to set wireless adapter settings to maximum performance. For this, type in power option in Windows search box and then click on edit power plan and then click on Change advanced power settings. Now scroll down. Over here, you can see wireless adapter settings. Click on this plus icon to expand it. Then expand power saving mode. And then on battery, select maximum performance. And for plugged in, also select maximum performance. So both should be maximum performance. Then click on apply. OK. Now try to connect, restart the computer and then check. Now the next step is to install wireless driver from your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. Now if you're not on online, if you're facing connection problem with the, with the adapter, in that case, your internet is not working right now. So you cannot go online. I understand that. For this, you can connect Ethernet cable. So if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, connect your computer using the Ethernet cable and then you can go online. And in case if you don't have Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port, in that case, you can use another computer to download the wireless driver. Now, if you can go online, you can go to your system manufacturer website so if you have Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP, go to HP. Whichever brand you have, go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, go to drivers and download, select your wireless driver. So here you can see Wi-Fi driver, download it and then install it. Now, if you're using another computer to download it, download the driver. So click on download. Now, once the download is complete, Copy that file and then transfer the transfer the file to your USB flash drive. So connect the USB flash drive or hard drive to another computer. And then once the download is complete for the wireless driver, transfer the file to USB flash drive or hard drive. And then connect your USB flash drive or hard drive to the computer which is not working, which is giving you the connection problem. So connect the USB flash drive or hard drive over there and then install the driver using the USB flash drive or hard drive. And after the installation, restart the computer and then connect. Now the next step is to update system BIOS. Now again, if you cannot go online, you cannot go to your system manufacturer website. So go to your system manufacturer website. This is just an example. And then select the BIOS and then download the BIOS. Now again, if you have Ethernet cable, you can use Ethernet cable to connect to go online. If you don't have Ethernet cable or Ethernet port, you can use another computer and then transfer the BIOS file to your external storage device like USB or hard drive and then connect the USB flash drive or external storage device to the computer on which you want to update the BIOS. And now before you update the BIOS, make sure in case of laptop, the battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer because during the BIOS update, your system will restart and make sure power cable is connected. And once the BIOS is installed, try to connect. Now, the last step is to reset your computer. Now, before you perform reset, make, make sure that you back up your data. Because when you perform reset, you might lose all the data, application, everything on your computer. You might have to start it from the scratch. So back up your data and application. 
and then reset a computer. Now to reset, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now in Windows 10, click on update and security, and then you will see the recovery option. In Windows 11, click on Windows update, and then go to advanced option, then scroll down, you will see recovery option, click on recovery. And then here you can see reset this PC, click on reset PC. Now here you can see two options, one is keep my files. It will remove application and settings, but it will keep your personal files. The second option is to remove everything. It will remove all your personal files, application and settings. So select the option which you want and then click on local reinstall. Click on it and then click on next and let the reset complete. Now, once the reset is complete, you have to start it from the scratch. So set up your computer once again and then connect to your Wi-Fi. So one of the steps should help you to get Intel Wireless AC7260 working and you should not face any kind of connectivity issue. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.